All right, we are getting underway into game one. Best of five, losers final. Chandelure v. Gardevoir. And a fitting place, Pokemon Stadium nonetheless. Or fina not Pokemon Stadium. I wish it was, man. That game is so good. Just waiting for Utah to make his selection and his music and his support. All right, we're getting underway. Utah deciding to actually go Rayquaza. This is kind of a smart choice because if he does have the Mimikyu set up, he can get those double debuffs and the big boy will be affected for it. All right, beautiful job from Utah. He does get the counter off on from the chandelier swing. Gets a follow-up, no wall splat. Tries to go for the energy ball. Just get a little bit of chip off on to on the Storm. Storm trying to find his way in. Minimize into Sneeze. Gonna go with the Emolga. Not gonna get punished. A nice job from Storm. He's gonna counter that. Gets the Hex Grab. Not a whole lot of damage going on right now. Laser coming out as well. Double laser storm in a nice position right now. Utah tries to go for the stored power. Just laser after laser on this man. And still not using Rayquaza. Like there have been plenty of, oh, here we go. He sees it now. Big damage. Oh my gosh. Gets the grab. This may take it. Two HP left for storm. 18 seconds left on the clock. Sneezes are coming out here. Looks like Utah just trying to stall it out. He only has seven seconds left on the clock. Can he hold himself? He does get the down hit. The little slide across, and that's going to take round number one. Nice job from Utah. He's going to get a nice attack on the storm. Big boy! He gave him the big boy with a large fry. Double debuff on the Storm right now. Attack and speed debuff. It's pretty crucial, actually. It's gonna slow him down a lot. Nice job from Utah once again. He does have the Rayquaza buff online for himself here. Nice job using the vulnerability frames to get away from that Emolga. Slides himself in, gets the counter off. No follow-up from, from Utah, though. Burst is gonna come out from Storm. He still had the double debuffs on from the big boy. They did finally go away. He tries to go for the hex grab. Burst gonna come out for Utah as well, but the laser just gonna barely clip him. Nice job from Storm. Is he gonna catch? He just barely whips. Beautiful stall from Storm or from Utah in the air. Nice grab gonna get pushed back, Storm, just a wee bit. With all these jumpings, there should be a time where you actually. Oh! I don't think he's gonna catch though. Nope. Spooky frames not gonna come into play either. He's going to use Minimize, but will it work? It does. He goes straight into Sneeze. Nice job from Storm. Tries to get the Emolga as well. <coughs> Not a lot of options seem to be working out for Storm right now. 13 seconds left on the clock. Defense debuff is on right now. Storm has 8 seconds left on the clock to try and get some sort of chip off. 4 seconds left. He does get the drop down. Defense debuff is on. 3, 2, 1. Storm going to stall himself out. And that's going to take the round for him. Nice job from Storm. Abusing the clock. Get himself down just a wee bit more. All right, some candle pop action coming out here. He does get a few hits on the Utah. Nice job from Utah getting the counterattack. Pins him up against the wall, but just barely misses once again. Sneeze coming out. Drops down, gets the chandelier swing and a candle pop. Tries to go for the grab. Smart option, big boy not gonna hit. Utah gonna punish accordingly with big damage. Laser gonna come out, nice amount of damage. Not too bad there, twice in a row. Utah having a hard time regaining himself. Laser again, Matt. Oh my gosh, slides across. This will be a chance for Storm, uh, Utah to punish this. No, not going to work like I thought it was. <laughs> oh, and that's going to be it. Storm will take 
game number one in this best of five losers finals. Affleck. <laughs> this stream not supported by Affleck. Legimity Mister. You tell looking like he's changing up supports. Oh, excuse me. My goodness, how unprofessional. My apologies. I do like the way that chandelier chandelier laughs though. All right, we are seeing a uh, report change here. Smart option, going with the Rotom Togekiss set. I like this. It's pretty smart. Double Candle Pop's gonna get himself a nice little bit of damage here. Tries to go for the chandelier swing, but it's not gonna work out for him just yet. Nice catch from Utah. He tries to go for the grab. That's a crit, big boy. When you go to your favorite restaurant, you say, "I want." Every single thing on the menu. <laughs> Knocks him up. Gets the hit once again. Gets the wall splat as well. Nice little chunk of damage. <laughs> Utah still not activating his Rotom buff. Or Rotom support. There are so many opportunities for him to do so. He's just having a hard time getting it off here. There you go. Utah's going to get it. Not going to actually stun him. He's going to pop his burst here. Utah wants to make sure he gets this round. Big boy coming out here. Smack into burst. Ladies and gentlemen, say it with me. Anime Waifu Cannon. That's going to take the round there. Thanks, No Shock, for tuning in, bud. All right, that's actually going to miss for Utah. He does get the homing into Tick Grab. Sneeze coming out as well. He's getting a little bit of swing action. Big boy. Not sure I agree with that. Does go for the burst to get himself out of a predicament. <coughs> Utah tries to go for the counter. Double lasers. Nice little hit, but he does have that attack debuff on. Emoga's going to come out. Not going to work out for Storm like he was hoping. Pedal Dance going to work for, in Utah's favor a little bit. Tries to go for the homing, but the sneeze too strong. Defense debuff is on. Tries to go for the hex grab. Burst is going to come out from Utah. If he can, he's going to try and find some way to knock him into the air. Nice stall from Utah, but the burst in the face. Not going to get the minimize. In a big boy. Oh, my good gosh. That was tons of damage. Laser just trying to find its mark here. Utah gets the stun off, but not going to get it like he was hoping. Barrier's going to come out. <laughs> he does get the attack off. Utah tying up the score 1-1. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we really appreciate you all tuning in right now. This is Smash Jam Losers Finals Pokin, uh, August 2018 at Cafeneo Coffee House. I'm Sky Energy Commentator. If you guys enjoy the stream so far, feel free to give a follow. Or a subscribe to Salty Gaming Show. Um, this is not my channel. Uh, mine is just skyner.twitch.tv. If you guys um, want to see me play some Pokemon or some other games. And if you guys enjoy the commentary, please feel free to give me a follow on Twitter. Skyner the King is my uh, tag. So, would really appreciate that, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Storm switching over to Mewtwo once again. Not sure how I feel about this pick, though. Look at these handsome boys. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> I do like Storm's baby face, though. With no, no facial hair. It's a good baby face. All right, sending out the shockwave. Nice job from Storm. Getting that first shift. Getting himself a little bit of synergy. 
Gets the JX down onto Utah. Big damage against the wall. <laughs> Just barely misses that follow up. Counter coming out from Utah. It's not going to be enough for him just yet. Togek is activated for Storm. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing here. <laughs> Counter a little too slow for Utah, though. Drops the follow, but he does knock him into the air. Gets the wall splat as well. Almost half health uh, down from Storm. Nice pedal dance. Gonna activate Rotom. Knocks him into the air. Once again, gets the grab. And that takes it round one for Utah. That was a really, really solid, quick turnaround from Utah. He positioned himself accordingly and read a lot of what Storm was doing, a lot of his options. Nice punish game. Nice counter through. He's going to get the knockup once again. Nice job. Gets the wall splat. You know, a little chunk of damage here and there is not bad. I mean, we saw Storm last game get that massive amount of damage against the wall for onto, onto Utah. But, I mean, consistent damage is more important than mass hits. All right, nice anti-air. Energy ball going to come out. He gets the slide. <laughs> Storm having a hard time regaining himself, but he does get the grab here, which is going to do himself a little bit of good. Sets himself up for the fire, fire spin. First is going to come out. Rotom as well. Shockwave not going to activate. Utah gets the crit hit. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, say it with me. Anime Waifu Channel. Kawaii. <laughs> and, and Utah. They're gonna really dominant game two, uh, game three. My apologies. <coughs> Come on, chat. Where are you at? <sighs> Give me some of your hyper. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, game number four in the losers' finals. Storm still sticking to Mewtwo. I think that was probably not the smartest option. He does get Shockwave off. He's going to shift uh, the fields here, and I, that may help him just a little bit. He is losing synergy though because most of Mewtwo's attacks, if some people don't know, do take away a little bit of a little bit of that synergy. Utah pins him up against the wall. Future Sight setting himself up here. Nice job from Utah. He gets the anti-air straight into grab. Getting that crit on that counter. Token Kiss coming out here from Storm. He does get hit by the energy ball, but homing attack. Big damage. Rotom coming out here, just making sure that Storm has no other options but to stay grounded. Hyper Beam slides right underneath. It gets the grab. This may take it. Utah sitting on match point against Utah against Storm. <laughs> Utah v Utah. <laughs> All right, match point here for Storm or for Utah. So I'm gonna have to make a few adjustments here if he wants to stay in this game. All right, Shockwave coming out. Almost at half synergy. He does go straight for the grab, sets himself up. No follow-up. He actually drops it. Nice counter through. Gets the slam down. Next option, not going to be the grab. Utah decides to counter right into that. <coughs> so I'm going to pop the token kiss. He is going to get hit by energy ball. Goes for the counter, CEDC right in the grab. Nice job from Storm. Going for a little barrier play. Nice read from Utah. Oh, 
Oh, gets the grab. This may take it. And he does get it. Storm trying to show some signs of life. The rounds are tied. This is still Utah's match point. If Storm can manage to get burst for himself, does grab the Synergy Ball. Pretty smart choice from him. Does get the Shockwave as well. He does get the Field Shift. Nice counter through from Utah. Big damage. Does get the Wall Splat. About a quarter of Storm's health gone from that one hit. Energy Ball just sitting there following him around. Storm having a hard time here. Tries to go for the grab. Knocks him into the air. Gets the follow-up. Burst going to come out from, from Utah. Oh, Storm in a hard pickle right now. Ladies and gentlemen, for a third time this set, Anime Waifu Canon Super Kawaii. <laughs> Storm in a really tough position right now. He's just getting a lot of chip down on himself. One HP left. Storm has to play this really carefully. He does get the homing attack in. Next option may cost him the game. 20 seconds left on the clock. Nice slides from Utah. Tries to go for the hyper beam. He misses, but he gets a slide under. Gets the grab. 3-1 for Utah. Nice job from Utah, he is going to